Welcome back to Raising Our Vibration. I'm Kevin Schenier, and today I'm really excited that I've just got my new flow time biosensing headband. And so I'm just going to take out the packaging here, and I'm going to open it up and set it up and see how this all works. So I've this is my second flow time headband. I got this one because they've just upgraded the headset. Um, so put that here. And as I open it up, first thing is this little pouch. And in here are, uh, these are the bands that will hold it around the back on my head. And then here's the flow time headset. So here you can see inside here are the sensors, the brainwave sensors, the heart rate sensors, and right back here is the power button. And then right over here is where you use this cable to charge it up. So it has this little set up here and you just, it magnetically hooks on here and then it's a USB charging cable. So I'm going to assume it's charged up. I don't know if that's a good assumption or not, but I'm gonna also try the medium sized band here and, and hook this in. So there's on the inside right here, you can see where you can hook in these Headband, so I'm gonna put the one side on. Hook on the other side. Okay, good. Now I'll put it on. It's a good position there. Okay, so one thing I notice is that's different is there's a, uh, this frame is more substantial than the first one. And also you can see that there's a flexible rubber band that the sensors are on. And that's so it can fit a variety of different head shapes. So some people with the first version of flow time, there we go. It didn't quite fit their head. It fit my head fine. I think I have a nice round head. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's see if we can um, turn it on and hook up the FlowTime app. So in the FlowTime app in the upper right corner, there's a little headset there. You touch that, it says connect. Turn on the power button on the back right. Uh, click that and connect. Okay, and it looks like I need to power up the device. So it looks like my assumption about the headset being charged was wrong. So I've charged it up for 30 minutes. And now I'm ready to get the FlowTime headset connected to the app. So I open the app on my phone. In the upper right-hand corner of the home screen, I click on the headband icon and I click to, but first I have to hit the power button, turn that on, and then hit connect. And so it's spinning, connecting, connecting. Okay, so connecting success. And now I'm going to go to uh, the meditation timer for an unguided meditation session. There's also a wealth of guided meditations on here that you can use. And I'm gonna just select a five minute session. It says sensor contact checking, all sensors connected. It's gonna give me a countdown, three, two, one. And now it's going to begin reading my bio data. So it just takes 
second for that to come up on the screen. But now I've seen if I scroll up, I can see there's a, a left and a right brain sensor here. And then I can see my brain waves down below in real time. And because I'm talking and I'm really focused on getting this um, recorded, I have high um, beta and gamma waves. And now if I just close my eyes and take a few deep breaths, Now I see that gamma waves drop down and I have alpha and theta waves on top. So more relaxed state along with uh, beta showing I'm paying attention and, and being focused. So I could go on and continue with this session for five minutes. Um, and when it's done, it's going to um, upload that session and then I can go into my um, statistics, which are, so there's a meditate button, bottom left, statistics in the center, and I can pull up that session and I can look at what my level of uh, my brain waves were, what my heart rate was, what my breath coherence was, also uh, measures of attention versus relaxation. So it's all right here on my stats page and all my sessions are recorded. So there's nothing I have to do. It's all right on the app. Another interesting thing that is a new feature on flow time is this flow biofeedback. And so when you get into a state of relaxed present moment attention, where your mind is quiet, you're Emotions are calm and your body is relaxed. Gives you a nice biofeedback signal, a nice bell, Tibet, Tibetan bowl sound um, that will sound every five seconds that you are in this state. So a nice new feature on flow time. And um, overall, um, that was super easy to set up this time. The sensors connected right away and uh, fits and feels really good. Feels more substantial and more comfortable than their first version. And so I'm really happy with it. So I hope you found that interesting. I also have a video out on um, looking at all the bio data that you get and learning about what the readings are and how those relate to different meditation practices. So you can look up that video, um, both on Amazon and on my uh, personal channel, the Raising Our Vibration channel. And uh, you can find it there. So hope you found this video interesting and uh, enjoy your practice, enjoy your meditation, and thanks to Flowtime for this wonderful device. Bye for now.